Can you briefly introduce yourself? I'm Joyita Gupta, Professor of Environment and Development in the Global South at the University of Amsterdam. And I spend one day a week also at UNESCO IFG in Delft. And um, what is your role um, today at UNESCO IFG? Uh, my role is to try and bring the two institutions together. So UNESCO IFG, uh, Institute for Water De uh, Education, is very specialized in water issues, whereas um, the department where I work in the University of Amsterdam is very specialized in social science issues. And the idea is to bring the two organizations together through a memorandum of understanding and to go quite far in terms of institutionalizing uh, cooperative research between the two organizations. So what project activities or programs have been identified already? Well, um, the whole um, planning is as follows. We hope to have uh, a number of exchange uh, participants. So there will be three colleagues from UNESCO IHE who will also come uh, to work at the University of Amsterdam and three colleagues at the University of Amsterdam will be also working here at UNESCO IHE. Uh, we have three PhDs joint. They will defend their thesis in uh, the University of Amsterdam but they will be mostly guided uh, through the UNESCO IHE organization. Uh, we plan to have two special issues and we are planning to have also a joint research project. So we have quite a little, uh, quite a number of issues planned for uh, further development. And can you briefly say something about um, the project or the research areas that you focus on? Um, we will be looking at, uh, in terms, we will be looking at urban water issues. Uh, in the context of multi-level governance on water, we will be looking at the the poorest in society and the uh, challenges of informality and illegality and we will be looking at legal pluralism which is um, different types of rules or regulations that apply to the same jurisdiction mm -hmm. and how that works out in practice. And um, who would be the main beneficiaries of this program you would say? Um, I think uh, the primary beneficiaries of this program will be uh, the staff members of both and we are hoping by uh, enhancing our critical mass and our uh, complementary knowledge streams that we can actually become also more influential in both the research world as well as in the capacity development world. Great, thank you very much.